Every single diet book or diet guru will tell you how great sweet potatoes are for you. Well, unless you're keto. But what's so special about this ingredient and what are the other ways we can use it? I know sweet potatoes are really good for me, but I tend to get really bored with them, especially if after a while you end up just sautéing them, mashing, or baking them. Before we get cooking, what's so special about sweet potatoes and why are they considered healthier than potatoes? In a world full of low-carb practitioners, why do nutritionists love them so much? You'd be surprised that both white potatoes and sweet potatoes are actually quite similar. Bear in mind though that there are about 4,000 varieties of potatoes in the world, so this is a very general statement. White potatoes have more potassium, while sweet potatoes are higher in vitamin A. Aside from other slight differences in both macro and micronutrient profiles, they are fairly equal and both can fit in a balanced diet if you need to up your carb intake. So why are they considered healthier? Well, there are two main arguments here. They are higher in antioxidants and are lower in the glycemic index, which means it doesn't make your blood sugar spike as much as regular white potatoes would. At the end of the day though, it's about how they're cooked and in what portion you are eating them. A boiled sweet potato will be lower on the glycemic index than a baked one, for example. So now that you know that, I'm gonna show you three really simple and delicious recipes today using sweet potatoes as the main ingredient and which you can eat as a main meal. Take a large sweet potato and slice it thinly lengthwise. At the same time, we're gonna go prep our baked sweet potato recipe, so just punch some holes in your sweet potato all around. Your slices go in a sheet pan with some olive oil in an oven at 180 degrees Celsius until tender. This will take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how thick or thin you slice your sweet potatoes. You can also cook these in a pan, by the way, if you don't have an oven. Your whole sweet potato will just go right in as well. Halfway in, just make sure to flip them all around. We're gonna make a quick topping of chopped parsley, some lemon rind, and some grated garlic. Mix this all together with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, just really to bind all together, and some lemon juice. Get a small pan out and just smear it with some extra virgin olive oil on medium heat. We're gonna sear off some white cheese of your choice. I'm using some halloumi, but you can also use some queso mpute or really just any cheese that you like to fry. I just wanna develop a crust on both sides. Once your sweet potatoes are crusty and charred, take them out of the oven, layer them with your thinly sliced halloumi, some tahini, your herb dressing, and salt and pepper. This kind of feels like a warm salad and is actually a full meal, full of good fats and good carbs. This recipe isn't really healthy, but it's just to show you that you can make something decadent as well with sweet potatoes. The potato in the oven should be done at around the 45 minute to hour mark, depending on its thickness. We're just looking for it to be really nice and fluffy inside. While that's finishing up, get one third stick of butter in a pan. Don't worry, we're not gonna use all of it, just a couple of tablespoons, and gently cook it down while stirring until it turns brown. This is just gonna bring out so much nuttiness from the butter. When done, take it out and then just toss in your pine nuts until slightly toasted on all sides. Take your potatoes out in the oven, slice them in the middle, and then with a fork, just break up the insides. This should be really kind of like soft and fluffy. We're gonna top this with some of our brown butter, so just a couple of tablespoons of this, some flake salt, pine nuts, dill, and if you're feeling extra cheeky, you can go ahead and grate some sharp Parmesan cheese right on top. Start by peeling and chopping one large sweet potato, a thumb size of ginger, and one medium onion. In a medium heat pot with some olive oil, sweat out your onions and ginger until fragrant, maybe around the three to four minute mark. To this, we're gonna add one cup of peeled and cubed squash, as well as our sweet potatoes. Cook for about five minutes before covering everything with some chicken or vegetable stock. That's pretty much it, simple as that. So just simmer everything on low heat for about an hour. It'll just really develop some nice flavor. 
And after that, just blitz everything together in a blender or a food processor. I actually prefer using a food processor. That way I don't have to be afraid of the heat and putting that in the blender and having the blender explode everywhere. And we're just gonna thin this out as needed with some coconut cream and make sure at this point to taste it and season it with your salt of choice. So you can use actual salt or you can use some fish sauce like I am using today. When you put this in your bowl, you can make it look really pretty by just using some extra coconut cream and doing some little kind of like Jason Pollock style brush strokes over here and there. A little bit of our herb oil from our roasted sweet potatoes a while ago, some chili flakes, and if you have some pine nuts left over, go ahead and add that as well. This is probably the healthiest of the bunch and is a great way to use any kind of vegetable you might have lying around in the fridge that might be kind of going past its use date. The sweet potato does really give you a great kind of creamy texture naturally when you blend it. So you can mix up any type of vegetable with it and it should kind of still give you that really creamy soup texture that I love so much. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. If you wanna see more from this series where we focus on one ingredient and then use it in different ways, please let us know. Uh, for the next vegetable, just go down in the comment section below and just leave an emoji or the name of the ingredient you want me to focus on next time.